morning, happy Monday. Welcome to this vlog. The sun is shining, we're feeling great. I just left Orange Theory and it was such a good workout. So hard for me to get out of bed this morning. I'm sure that's like a common Monday thing. And I barely got there on time because I like stayed in bed till the last second, but I'm so happy I went. You never regret a workout, okay people? And started off my Monday right. It's so nice out, which I'm loving. It was so like rainy and cloudy and dreary for a while and it's so sunny and it's gonna be like warmer today. Or we're meaning like 50, but that actually is so warm for recently. It's just been like 20s and 30s every day. So yeah, feeling good. I'm gonna walk Brody, eat breakfast. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna make this a week long vlog. This is gonna be so fun. I'm so excited. Tell us what you just did. Nothing. <laughs> What an angel sweet pea. I'm cleaning the shitters. <laughs> Why did you call it that? I'm so afraid. I don't know what they're called. <laughs> you guys, Max is an angel. But see, we're good. We always say we're a good team when it comes to like cleaning and stuff. He does the toilets, he does the trash. I like to vacuum, do the mirrors. Like we both do countertops. We just kind of split it up, you know? Yeah. I um, gaslight him into doing things that I don't want to do by telling him he's really good at it. <laughs> I go, but you're so good at cleaning the toilets. You're so good at the dishes. <laughs> good enough you can eat off of. <laughs> don't I always do that? Yes, you do. I'm like, but you're way better at the dishes than me. <laughs> and you always say, I like doing these things. I'm like, you're so good at you it. Like doing you like <laughs> You like cleaning. This is the secret to how you get your boyfriend to help out. Be like, you love it, it's your favorite. <laughs> Max is joining me for an unboxing. Do you like when packages come right to our door? Or no? When they're all the Yeah. Where, well, I guess I shouldn't really explain where we live for safety reasons, but basically packages aren't supposed to come on our doorstep, but sometimes they do. So it's kind of nice, but not nice if we're not around and a package sits there for a while. I heard it from Set Active. Set Active, please work with me. I'm your number one fan. Please sponsor me. I've never worked with them, but I have a bunch of their sets. Lucy just got me that yellow one, yeah, Set Active. Oh, I know. So excited. Oh, show them what you're eating. Come no, on. no, they don't need to know anything. <laughs> they don't need to know nothing. <laughs> Come on. They don't need to do nothing. <laughs> they don't even see your face. What do you mean? <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, I'm good right here, let's see. This is your, your Pop-Tarts are now your brand. Anyway, I ordered mm, wow. a couple things. Spent all my money. Because when Sydney and I were in LA, Ooh. I thought that was fun. Is that like a pajama set? Well, a lounge could be. Set? Like, <laughs> but we love their sweats, but they had like no colors or sizes like in stock in person. And I went on their email list, on their website, to see when they restock, they restock. I love. So I ordered. I love that for you. But come on, look at how cozy this is. Looks great. I thought you were gonna say you have 100 sweatshirts like that. I love it. I do, but I really, and I've been getting a lot of like cream colored ones recently. But this one's different. What about it? I'm very happy. Wait, wait, you didn't even see the bedroom. <laughs> I'm losing him. I'm losing his attention. Sweatpants! Woo! To go with. Wait, I literally have the Lulu sweat set that's like this. Oh, the God. Flyers one and the um Wait, and I have another one too. Maybe a Ritzia. But I just these it's my favorite. Okay, I'm always in cream and white and they just looked and felt like such good quality in person. I need it. Then I was just browsing around their website. And I've been in my chocolate brown era. And I thought this was so cool. I got a chocolatey brown, like button down, but it's like waffle knit. And I really thought this is like lounge, like throw it over, especially like in the summer. Like a tank top and jean shorts, throw a little button down over top, tuck this into jeans, tuck it into jean shorts. Just like cozy, but like cute. And then obviously you can wear it with a little waffle knit joggers I got. Oh, <laughs> he's gaming. <laughs> Just shut the door, we lost him. Okay, not with this outfit obviously, but like cute, right? With, 
little chocolatey brown joggers. Like, so fun. I'm so happy these came. Yay! Um, if this helps, I want to say I got a medium in this and the joggers and the sweatpants. And the sweatshirt, I think I got a large to be extra comfy. It's definitely oversized to begin with, is what I'm trying to say. But, yay! Can't wait. Good morning. <laughs> no, you can't have that. Tuesday morning, starting off some cleaning. Basically, Max was an angel into the toilets yesterday, as you guys saw, and I wanted to do some cleaning too. Didn't get to it. So we're gonna do it this morning because I don't want him to get home and start cleaning again, and then I feel bad because I didn't do anything, so I'm gonna do the mirrors, the countertops, vacuum just as much as I can get done so that hopefully when he gets home, he's like, ah, oh, you cleaned, you know? And jewelry and stuff. That was dumb. Sometimes I'm mad at myself at how I don't do this enough because it literally takes five minutes. Like I was just thinking to myself, I don't want to do this right now. And then I was like, to clean the mirror, clean these countertops, maybe it will take five minutes. Maybe like four. So hopefully that motivates some of you. If you're putting it off, literally just do it and it's done. That's like the number one thing that I learned from Max. Literally. <laughs> I can see with it. When we first started dating, I like did not, no, I knew how to do the dishes. I just would let them pile up and I wasn't good at doing things like when they needed to be done, like in a timely manner. Just addressing it before it becomes like a big issue. I would just let things like chores, cleaning, whatever it is, pile up until it was like really bad and really bothered me and I would just worry about it, cause me so much stress, anxiety. Who knew I'd be a cleaning lesson right now. But literally, the best thing, I feel like I've talked about this before, that he taught me was Gretchen, the dishes, the cleaning, whatever it is, just do it and it's done. And then you don't have to worry about it anymore. And I was like, huh, that makes a whole lot of sense. That <laughs> literally changed my perspective on cleaning. And now I'm just gonna do it and it's gonna be done. I'm not gonna have to worry about it. Okay, also I know there's could be a more efficient way than me using paper towels right now. What do you guys clean your countertops with? I don't wanna use like a dish towel I don't want to use like a sponge, that seems kind of like that. Eh. Maybe a sponge and then you can wash it out after. I don't know, but there's definitely something better I could be doing for this. Like one of those scrub daddies, but do you use that on the counter? I don't know. I'm giving you cleaning tips, but I'm not that good at cleaning. Just do the bare minimum. <laughs> okay, literally that entire clip was less than three minutes. Like I'm embarrassed at how I work myself up over cleaning. I'm like, oh, I don't wanna do it. Two and a half minutes, bye. <laughs> Whew, we're doing good. Just went around, did all the mirrors all the countertops. I filmed like a little bit more in the bathroom, but you didn't even see all the mirrors were really quick. And I'm just realizing how quick all this actually takes. <laughs> it's always like a whole thing in my head, but it's not a whole thing in reality. It's like a quick, quick thing. Okay, now we tidy because there's stuff everywhere and vacuum. Okay, I'm feeling so much better. I don't know if you guys can even see. Over there, that's a new rug that we're actually gonna put down in here. If you guys remember, I was like, this one just got really old and like so many stains on it. So I'll probably put that down later. Nothing feels better than like a, even just like tidying up or straightening up if you have like five minutes instead of like 25 to vacuum your whole apartment. Just like tidying and putting things where they go feels so much better, huh? Also, tidying up the couch made me realize <laughs> I think it's time for 
a couch wash like taking off all the cushions washing them but i don't have the energy right now because i just ran around the whole apartment i'm like sweating but that needs to happen because there's little muddy paw stains all over it that you can't tell from afar it's my number one question everyone's like how do you keep all this white furniture clean it's not okay you're just not looking close up <laughs> like especially these chairs like the really white furniture yeah no and in here it looks like this just blankets covering the couch at all times <laughs> and brody's on it you know oh, his toys are still kind of like all over but i have like a bin back there where i keep them the desk could be a little more tidy it is what it is you know like the look of a clean rug with like vacuum marks in it clean countertop tidied up Nothing feels better, right? Brody's probably a little mad at me because he hates when the vacuum runs. He runs around like avoiding it the whole time because I think it's like scary to him. Is it tidy in here? I don't even know. I like loosely, loosely make the bed and just kind of throw it all together. But the floors are clean. I'm a happy gal. Brody crunching away over there. <laughs> the new rug is complete, you guys. Yay! I'm so excited. I feel like it looks so good in here with like all the tones of wood we have going on, right? Like that looks really good. And it's still gonna like flatten out a little bit. I don't know if you can tell. I feel like it's not completely flat yet and at first i didn't put the rug pad down because i literally forgot that i got a rug pad with it but it's definitely better with a rug pad even though this type of runner has like the sticky in the back so if you didn't have a rug pad it wouldn't move if you saw it was like a little bit too long um so i just chopped off the end like two inches and yeah i love this design the number one thing about this well the old one had stains you i saw so i was on the lookout for a new one and the number one reason i picked this is because it's washable you can literally put it in your washing machine so when your dirty little paws get mud on it and we spill like marinara and whatever it will just come out so much easier so yeah i decided to make my life easy and get a machine washable little kitchen runner this is actually from rugs usa so i can link it down below for you guys in the description if you want a twin i just think it looks like a really nice like printed neutral kind of rug and they probably have like every different size if you wanted this for like your bedroom or living room or whatever like i would put this in my um bedroom and living room too because i just love all the colors and how it looks don't we love i don't know if you guys could tell when i was doing the new rug about what I'm wearing right now. This was from the Set Active package that I opened up yesterday. And I don't even think I filmed the rest of the day, but I lived in that sweat set, the like cream colored one, the whole rest of the night. It's so cozy. I just know I'm gonna be like jumping into that every day. And then this brown little like waffle, is it's called waffle knit? Like thermal joggers. <laughs> every time I'm filming and like button down or even softer and cozier and so stretchy and i thought i feel like you could like i'm gonna wear it to dinner i told max i'm bringing him somewhere surprise and he doesn't know where and he keeps asking me i actually feel like it's oh this is a big hint are you ready for your big hint I'm it's one place the one place that you have not said you guessed so many places I don't want it to come to you, I want you to be surprised. But it's like very chill and low key. I told him comfy. Like I feel like this is honestly fine to wear there. It's like, kind of almost looks like PJs, but I also feel like it's just like a cute little set. I could put a jacket over it, sneakers, you know. Dress it up a little, if you will, Brody. It's just like chocolatey brown. So cozy, we love. Are you ready having fun on the new rug? With your llama. <laughs> you guys, I just opened a package. 
These are the softest, comfiest things in the world. I have like a similar style and they're from Amazon a while back. And they're really comfy and soft, don't get me wrong, but they're like $20 and these are actually like really nice quality fur ones. Oh my gosh, they're like a cloud. My feet are like in heaven right now. I love them, thank you. Emu, I believe is how you say it. These just came in and this is the style, in case you're wondering. These are like the softest ever. Are you surprised? Very. <laughs> yeah, I'm taking a video. Thai. We always order Thai from here, you guys, but we've never been in person. So I'm so excited. Max switched it up and got like a stir fry with rice. And I got what we always get, chicken pad to you, veggies, chicken, and the yummiest sauce ever. Hello, it's Wednesday. Uh, it's actually afternoon now. What you guys missed is I went to Orange Theory with my friend and then I just walked Brody in the park with my other friend. We walked like over three miles. I'm exhausted. I came home and I ate the rest of Max's penne al vodka. He gets like penne al vodka with like chicken parm every game day. He has three this week. He literally eats it so much and he always leaves me his leftovers because it's like massive and it's so good. So now I'm stuffed. But yeah, I just had a very active morning. I can't wait to shower and like sit down. Look at how tired Brody is. And we walked this morning and then did just like another over three. Like he literally ran around and walked so much. Yeah, you just rest, buddy. Oh, he's so sleepy. Yeah. Okay, I have to show you guys though the package that I just opened. I'm like, I'm so full and now I'm like, ooh, I can't wait to see what's in here. I'm so shocked. Did not know this was coming. I'm like, what the heck? This looks like the most massive container of Nutella. It's probably like, oh, here we go. Ooh. That looks fun. It says World Nutella Day is coming up. I'm so excited. Wow. I wonder if they knew that Lucy and I literally lived off of Nutella our senior year of high school. We would just like eat a jar every single day. I wonder if these are new. I'm so excited to try these. I've only ever really had the original. <gasps> are you kidding me? Oh, uh, what? I literally just opened this with you. You guys are getting my raw reaction. I'm screaming. I can't wait to show Max when he wakes up from his nap later. Oh my gosh, why is this like the most exciting thing that's ever happened to me? The best part of doing social media ever. The <laughs> custom Nutella jar. I'm keeping this jar forever. Wow, that is so full circle. That is so exciting. Like you guys don't understand. Lucy and I would eat a jar every day because we'd come home from rowing practice. I feel like our junior and senior year of high school, really our senior year, I feel like training just got like so intense. It's just like such a specific memory to me and in college too, but we would come home, we'd eat dinner and we'd eat like an entire bag of pretzels with an entire jar of Nutella because we were just like bottomless pits. Ooh, maybe I want this right now. That looks so good. Wow, this really just made my day. I can't, that's so cute of them. Shout out Nutella, thank you. No one be mad at me. It's the next day, huh? <laughs> Vlogging yesterday was a fail. Okay, I have to show you guys. I got some strawberries the other day and I just cut them all up, put them in this container. Look how delicious they look. I forgot how yummy strawberries are. What they really would be good with was that Nutella I opened up yesterday, <laughs> right? Oh my gosh, I'm doing that later for dessert. I'm like dunking them in there. Um, And I just made my little breakfast. Doesn't that sound so good? Because I was gonna do banana on top of mush, which I always do, and then I was like, wait, I got the strawberries, that would be so good. And this is how well Brody liked his strawberry. He literally barely let it touch his lips and spit it out, which normally he likes fruit. Like he likes blueberry, pineapple, banana, orange, like all that is good for them, apple, and he'll eat them. But raspberries and strawberries, he's weird with, like it depends on the day, so yeah going on happy thursday already oh my gosh i can't believe it's thursday i'm about to record for my podcast but i will check in with you guys later when i'm doing something fun i'm literally gonna eat my mush record probably do some makeup get ready yeah we'll see what we do later maybe we'll have like starbucks coffee run that's what i'm hoping for you would like that right if you get a p-u-p-c-u-p -P -P. but then you can't spell if i said the real word or the you would know. <laughs> did my podcast. What else did I do? I don't know. I was texting my makeup. grandma. Oh yeah, I did my makeup. That's why I was wearing that gray sweatshirt because I didn't want to get 
makeup on like this one. I don't know. It's like really hard to get out. But this is the set that I've been living in as well. The cream colored one. Isn't it so comfy? I love it. Ooh, maybe I'll throw a vest over top. And the large, I feel like, is already oversized because I feel like normally a large doesn't fit me this big. Like this probably fits me how normally like an XL would fit me, you know? Mm. So, I love. Mm -hmm. So cozy. That's the little, mm. not emblem, what's it yeah. called? Logo. Logo. Yeah. We oh, are going to go on a coffee date. Oh, and I already said, but I did my makeup feel put together. I feel like a lot of this vlog I haven't been wearing makeup. Makeup changes my whole like mindset, mood. Mm -hmm. Right? <laughs> that yeah. gets it. Uh oh. It's okay, buddy. Uh oh. It's okay. Oh no. He don't lie. It's okay, buddy. It's okay. We brought him like day one. When he was a puppy. When he was a baby, but he didn't know any better. It's okay. Oh, he's come. trying to climb Hi, up. come here, buddy. Come here, it's, it's okay. okay. Oh, is he trying to hop in my lap? I'll hold you right here. Oh, it's okay, sugar Why don't we just... You're no, gonna no, get no, a pup no, pup no, after no, 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 no. <laughs> He's coming. Let's just cover your eyes. It's okay. Here we go. I'll bet <laughs> With the survivor. <laughs> is anyone else? Their car? Oh, their, hey. <laughs> their dog comes in. It's okay. Dogs. It can't get you. But hang it on tight. Cover your ears. It's okay, sweet pea. Oh. It's a little scared. Whoa. It's okay. It's not scary at all. <laughs> okay, buddy. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> I think it needs a pink. Oh, one of your little sweat yeah, nose that I'll you do. Yeah, when I get home. We just attempted to film for a fun TikTok idea, Max. We'll see how it turns Brainstormer. out. Brainstormer. Hopefully got enough footage. Okay, I literally was just saying in the podcast I recorded this morning, I was like, I've been in my making my coffee at home era mm -hmm. because I've been liking it better than Starbucks and then here I am getting a Starbucks. But I haven't had a chai latte, like a dirty chai in a while. And it is good, I like and it. And I've actually been doing my coffee at home. I'm so proud of us. This definitely needs more ice. Like. I think because the ones at home I like load up with ice right. so I would have ordered extra ice But I can't get the chai perfectly right at home. I feel like so I still would get this out mm -hmm. I think I almost had more espresso everything just tastes too sweet to me now mm. You know mm -hmm. I'm gonna add more ice to this and it's gonna be better. Yeah, I got oat milk in there by the way I got almond milk and two pumps of mocha So it's a little like chocolatey, but not that sweet mm. Which is funny because I feel like the other day, oh well the other day you got mocha vanilla. and vanilla so it yeah. made it sweeter. And normally we do white mocha which is so sweet, but maybe the mocha isn't as sweet as the white mocha. Because I feel like if that was white mocha it would taste sweet. You know? Yeah. Maybe it's just something mixed in there. We struggle with our sweetness levels. I feel like we both prefer like a specific level of sweetness. So if it's like not sweet enough or too sweet, you're like, ugh. Yeah. Yeah, it's, that's alright. And you missed <laughs> this. We all know what this means. Yes. Odie's pop a cup. Alrighty, now what are we up to? Now I realize that I'm wearing a cute outfit and I want a picture, except the struggle of where we live is you kind of have to create photo opportunities when there aren't really, really cute backgrounds. Yeah. Like Boston, it's just like easier. Like, I don't yeah. know. I feel like I barely took photos in Boston this summer either, but since I have my new fuzzy Burks that I think are so I love cute, those. my new set and like a coffee, like that'd be cute. But where to? That's the that's the age old question, isn't it? I know. I've taken so many like sitting in the car, like inside. So we'll see how this turns out. Wish us luck. <laughs> Poor Max. Okay, I'm about to show you guys something. <laughs> this is how my brain works. I'm so distracted. I just turned on the camera. I'm like, wait a minute, we're gonna sell them. Loving the rug. Like so cute. We're loving it. But I'm wanting to show you today. Look at this package that showed up last night. I literally was jumping up and down with excitement. I was like, Max, this is the best day ever. Like, guys, I'm showing so much PR in this vlog, but I just, I, I, I mean, this really, you guys know, I have no words. This is the most exciting thing that's ever happened. I didn't know that they had like merch, like a poppy sweatshirt. I'm putting this on immediately, later today. Okay, that was not English. I'm gonna put this on immediately as I can. I'm ready in sweat set, obviously. But I'm gonna go to yoga later. And so when I come back and I shower and I'm all clean, I'm gonna put this on and I cannot wait. I'm so excited. And obviously, poppy is just my most favorite drink ever. I've tried all the flavors. 
all of these and they're all delicious. I even was their fan back in the day. I feel like they had flavors that they don't even have anymore. Did anyone ever try like the blueberry back in the day? Anyway, these are just delicious, all of them. So good. I was like, are you kidding me? And I literally had just posted, I was talking about this in my podcast earlier, so I am having deja vu, but I posted a TikTok where I was drinking this one literally yesterday and then this showed up and I'm like, what? It was like a sign from the world. I'm like, are you kidding me? Did you hear me talking about Poppy? But yeah, I had no idea this was coming. I'm talking about this forever, but it's just really exciting. And I was talking about my podcast, how I'm so lucky that I like get sent stuff from my favorite brands as a part of my job. Like I just feel really lucky and it's just really fun. And a lot of days feel like Christmas morning. So yeah, I need to give you like some favorites here, but it's hard to choose. This was my favorite for so long and I drink it like almost exclusively and I almost feel like I started to get sick of it after a while because I drink it like every day, but now I'm back on. Oh, it's just so good. Crisp with a glass of ice and a straw. And then I got so into all of these tastes like legit soda, like cola, root beer, doc pop, tastes like Dr. Pepper, tastes like root beer, tastes like, like Diet Coke, Coke. And, but it tastes like better than the actual soda. Like these three, four, are just so good. Like yeah, these four are probably my favorite favorite that I would like buy on my own the most. And also watermelon's really good. Max really likes orange. I like orange too. I gotta be in a certain mood. And then the this is a strawberry lemonade. Strawberry lemon. Yeah. And that one's really good too. But still, like yeah, these four are probably my favorites. But like I like them all. I still buy the ginger lime. It just tastes really fresh. Most recently I tried the cherry limeade. Also really good. Yeah, I just love them. They're like really fun drink. Tastes really good. Good and good for you. This is the cutest thing ever. <laughs> this is literally so scary looking. I can't. <laughs> um, I just turned on my flashlight on my phone so you guys could see me or else it's literally pitch dark in here. You can't even see me. Oh, I hate how dark it gets so early. I guess it's 6.30 already, but oh, lovely. We can just keep it there. We can chat for a sec. Ew, I'm probably like sweating through my little jacket. I just left hot yoga. 5.30 class, afternoon workouts are always such a struggle for me to get to. But today I was like, you know what? I always feel better after I do a little yoga, especially this one, it's just like so peaceful, mindful. I always feel so good after. So I feel like yoga is the one thing I can get myself to do in the afternoon or evening because I just know how good it feels, how good I'm gonna feel after. What's going on? My ponytail, I'm so afraid. But yeah, I feel so much better now. I always feel better after I go. And especially by the afternoon and evening is when I start to get really overwhelmed and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so anxious. There's just like so much going on. And yoga literally makes me, I shut off my phone and I am like so present and it helps so much. So I feel so much better. I'm gonna drive home now. This light is so scary, bye. <laughs> Back from yoga and I'm so excited to get dinner going. I'm so hungry right now. Max is already cooking over there if you can hear him. We're making the crispy buffalo spiced chicken. I'm so excited. This is one of my favorite. You guys know any other like buffalo chicken recipes are so good. You guys know I've got HelloFresh for years now. Pay for our own subscription. We're obsessed. And just the best thing about it is you guys already know all the pre-portioned ingredients. Really easy to follow. Hello. Recipe cards make it so easy. And it's just so nice to have like a home-cooked meal ready and not order takeout. That's my New Year's resolution, you guys know. There's over 40 different recipes to choose from each week. I just like scroll through the app on my phone, pick out my favorites, some new ones sometimes to switch it up. And one of the best things is you can change things like so easily. Like if you wanna switch from the two person to the four person for servings to the two servings, if you wanna add an extra protein, if you wanna switch the protein, switch the sides, add extra size, um, it's really easy. You can change your delivery date, everything like that. So it's just really convenient and it takes literally two seconds on my app. If you don't have their app, get their app because that's what I do on there and it just makes it so easy. So here's all the ingredients, pre-measured, can you even see? I don't know, <laughs> but I believe my code is stay the same. You guys can go to HelloFresh.com and use code GGYT65 for 65% off and 20 free shipping. <laughs> 20 what? I thought it was like 21 free meals or something. <laughs> no, GGYT65, 65% off and free shipping. Take advantage if you haven't. Tried HelloFresh before, literally what are you doing? This is gonna be the yummiest ever. And you can just like do whatever you want to. Like if you were like not in the mood for mashed potatoes, like this recipe calls for, you could make it into like little fries. Another thing, for example, like I don't really like blue cheese and this is a blue cheese sauce, so I'm just gonna switch it to ranch and use like ranch for my fridge. You know, like you can not take it that seriously. I feel like I used to follow these instructions. I you, but... Yeah, you did. I used to follow the instructions like so perfectly and then I'm like, 
Oh, you can kind of just like make it your own too. So yeah, either way, you can't really mess it up. They always turn out good. So let's get cooking. I, if I recall, I don't remember. But she probably did. <laughs> did she help you? That is too. <laughs> Why don't we just. You guys, look at how good this turned out. This chicken especially, mm, it looks so good. It's like a buffalo chicken, obviously like breaded. And we got some like, well it was blue cheese sauce, but I did like a ranch sauce with Cholula, Cholula hot sauce. And I honestly might even put more hot sauce over everything because that's just me so good. Mashed potatoes, which is my most favorite food in the whole entire world. Any recipe with mashed potatoes, I'm like immediately add, click. And then these, Carrots look so good with the fry seasoning on them. Oh, they're mm. so yum. Okay, wow. I need to get this fry seasoning to put on carrots every time I make them. Because why do I feel like this is the first time I did it? I made them so good. And they didn't like stick or anything. And they're cooked like perfectly. Mm -mm -mm. Don't forget, callfresh.com. Use code GGYT65. 65% off. And, and what, Max? 65% off. And, and. Free shipping. <laughs> free shipping, that's right. Free for life, according to me. <laughs> free HelloFresh forever and ever. Guys, it's so late. I'm so sleepy. We just finished the finale. Finale. Finished the season of the Survivor season that we were on. Oh my gosh, I can't even speak. I'm so sleepy. I was like doing some stuff on my computer. I need to go to bed. Brody just joined me if you see him in his bed down there. But I needed to show you. I put on my poppy sweats. I've been lounging in it all night. It's so cozy. This is the best thing ever. I told you I was so excited to like shower and be able to put this on. And yeah, I'm obsessed. It's the best. And I was just gonna say who won the season, but I don't wanna like give spoilers, but I believe it's called Redemption Island is the season we watched. If you guys watched that one, the person who won, we were just like, wow. It was almost like the whole season if you watched it. Oh, I don't wanna give anything away. But it like wasn't my favorite. I feel like there's been other interesting ones. This one was like sort of every season that's like, oh, this like in theory could happen, but it doesn't actually happen. Like like tribe doesn't say that strong together. People always flip, but I feel like this time it actually did, but it was kind of like less interesting that way because there was no like people like trying to strategize and people flipping and stuff. Everyone was just like so loyal. So people were just like picked off one by one. Sorry if I'm like giving it away. But at least I didn't say like one, but it like wasn't even a surprise. I don't know why I don't want to give it away. But it's like over 10 years old, so you guys probably saw it anyway. But yeah, we've been having fun like watching old ones. So anyway, good night. Going to bed. See you in the morning. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I can't make this up. I tucked Brody in. Hasn't moved an inch. I think he's loving it. He's like, yeah. I think this will be my spot from now on. I'm so comfortable. Who am I kidding? This basically is his spot. He always finds a way to squeeze on in here. I just took like a hundred photos of him because I'm like, are you kidding me? What'd you do? You wake up and you see this. Can you just rest? We're gonna go on a WA okay soon, okay? Until then, you just relax. I keep thinking about this. Uh, sorry, I like literally just rolled out of bed. I have morning breath. Oh, good morning. Yes. <laughs> I saw um, someone repost on Instagram. I think it was a tweet or a meme or something. And it was like when my dog yawns or sighs, it was like, what ails you, my unemployed freeloader? <laughs> now I keep saying that. What ails you, my unemployed freeloader? <laughs> oh, yes. I know, you have such a stressful life. You just relax, okay? You stay right there. You let me know if you need anything. <laughs> oh no, my back.
battery's dying. Okay, I'll try to talk really quick. I just went to Orange Theory this morning and I brought two new friends with my other friend that I always go with. And so there was four of us and it was really fun. If you guys remember, I was saying how nothing is more fun than bringing people to like a- My camera died. Grabbed a new battery. I was saying how in vlogs past I was saying how nothing is like more fun than bringing new people to a workout that you love. So we had lots of fun and we sat at Starbucks after and chatted like forever. So I'm so excited to like make food now that I'm home. I'm like, I gotta get home and make food. I'm starving. But yeah, it was so fun. And I feel like jittery from so much caffeine. And since it's game day, I brought Max home a cold brew. He always gets a cold brew, splash of almond milk on a game day before his game. So I just grabbed it for him so that he doesn't have to go on the way there. Um, but almond milk's kind of scary. I feel like almond milk does that, how it kind of like separates. So it looks kind of weird, but yeah. Just call me the best girlfriend ever, basically. <laughs> Everybody, I'm sorry, I'm apologizing. Right here and now, this week in my life has been a fail. It's been like, not a fail, it's just been like, you know, vlogged in the mornings and stuff. Oh no, whenever I get the mad out, he thinks I'm doing a workout and he doesn't like that I'm not paying attention to him and then he has to bring me a toy and hit me with it so that I play with him, so that I play with him. I have to show you guys. Oh, was it during this week? Maybe we weren't vlogging or like before I started this vlog, like last week. Max and I went to Target my coffee and I found Valentine's Day themed treats and I just had to get them for him chocolate covered strawberry little toys and they whenever they say like for extra small small dogs like little ones he loves the little ones he just likes to hold them don't worry I like watch him he doesn't like swallow them or anything but he just like loves little toys anyway yeah this vlog has been a little jumpy all over the place and like last night I'm like I'll show them my outfit for the game and I ended up hating my outfit and I feel like it didn't make any sense so I didn't shocker back in my little thermal waffle knit why can't I say the name of this right I think waffle knit set that I got from set active wearing it like every day and um if you guys saw me run into the door one thing you didn't see earlier this week that I didn't show I was putting something in the pantry I just like run around too quickly around here so I feel like it causes me to run into things and be clumsy and I put something in the pantry and I was like closing the door quick as it was coming out and I literally hit my nose so hard into the pantry door as I was shutting it and I had like tears running I'm like I just hit my nose so hard I'm literally about to have like black eyes and my nose still aches like when I do my skincare and makeup I'm like ow like it must have I don't even think it bruised or anything but it feels like it did you know what I mean I hit my nose really bad anyway and it hurts really hard and I just ran into that door I'm just close okay what am I trying to say? Okay, I wanted to talk to you guys about coffee. Max and I went and got Starbucks this morning. I was saying to you yesterday, the last thing we saw yesterday, sorry, was that I got Max his game day Starbucks. He said it was delicious, by the way, once he mixed in the almond milk. Don't pull the tag off of that, okay? If you get a hole in that, it's going in the graveyard. Yeah, so you have to be good with it. Be good. His graveyard is like overflowing. Toys that the fluff started coming out. Okay, so got the pistachio cream cold brew yesterday i'm gonna insert a clip right here when i first got it i was like i'm gonna want to show my vlog this and when it's all like fresh and pretty looking now it's like half drinking it's so good you guys need to try this max was like it doesn't even taste like pistachio at all which i agree with it's just like sweet and yummy i think they have like a pump or two of vanilla in the cold brew so it's just like sweet and the foam whatever flavor pistachio they put in the foam is good and they do like little crunchy sweet pieces on top of something or other toffee i think and it's so good. You guys need to try this. Okay, I don't want to chat your ear off at the end here too much, but I just laid out my yoga mat because I figured my body really hurts today. And I always say, trying to listen to my body this year in 2023 and actually be in tune with my body. Because everyone says, listen to your body, be in tune with your body. And I'm like, yeah, that sounds good. But then I'm like, well, what does that actually mean? I don't think I'm that type of person that's in tune with my body. So I literally try to wake up and think like, how am I feeling today? Do I feel like I have a lot of energy and I want to go like crush an orange theory workout? Do I feel like, okay, like some movement could do me some good, but that's not really my speed today. Maybe I'll just like walk uphill, do a little stretching. Or I'm like, like today, I'm like, my calves hurt, my hamstrings kill, my biceps and shoulders, everything hurts. <laughs> like I'm just so 
the store. I think because I, I did Orange Theory like three times this week and yoga and stuff. So my whole body hurts. So I was like, okay, active recovery day. I can walk, be, and stretch. But on days that I'm like, I'm just going to stretch and recover, I don't actually stretch. So I figured you guys would hold me accountable. And I'm going to chat with you as I stretch right now because I'm so bad at actually getting myself to stretch. I'm like, yeah, I'll stretch later. I'll just roll out the yoga mat and do it. Like I don't, like I get lazy, I don't know why. And that's probably like the most important on everything. Oh yeah, my roller's right here. This is the best thing ever. My lower back always kills. Sorry, that's making a funny noise. Ow, <laughs> my shirt's too loose, it's getting caught in it. Also, if any of you know the pain, <laughs> My back hurts so bad. If any of you have a roller and your hair is long like mine and it gets like caught in it, it's like your head gets yanked back. It's like really unpleasant. Okay, we'll revisit that in a moment. Yeah, I thought this would just be a good time to chat with you guys. My hamstrings are so bad. I think that's mostly from yoga this week because obviously like hot yoga, you just get so hot in the room. I feel like this is what I hear sometimes. Actually, people are saying something that could be like, potentially bad about hot yoga or so, why some people don't like it is your body is so hot and warmed up that you're almost like over stretching your body to the point that it normally wouldn't stretch and I definitely feel that way like once I leave after my hamstrings like I'll be in like a full split and I'm like oh, I don't really know if I can do that and then my hamstrings kill for like the next week because I like stretch them so far you know so that's kind of the situation right now but I thought I know I talked about my goals in a video early on in January but I thought specifically I could talk to you guys about my fitness goals so you could hold me accountable I kind of already said how I just want to like don't look at my roots by the way I'm basically brunette I want to be better with like listening to my body this year and like pushing myself and challenging myself and just recognizing the difference between days that I'm like like today I'm like my whole body aches it's a Saturday let's just like chillax and a day like during the week that I'm like just feeling tired and lazy and like fighting it but like movement would do me some good you know it's like hard to find the difference it's like okay is my whole body like literally falling apart and or I feel like sick or something and just really not up for it or am I just being lazy and like need a little bit more motivation but again like I was saying like having a friend like a workout buddy in the classroom maybe I was saying that in my podcast the last episode of my podcast literally makes all the difference like I am just so much more motivated to work out when I have like a plan to work out with someone he's going ham on his chocolate covered strawberry and it just makes it like way more fun and I feel like I'm trying to just be more consistent with Orange Theory. I feel like for me, like come and gone in waves. Like last fall, I did it for like a month straight. And I'm like, okay, my body's literally falling apart. I'm not okay. I need to like chill and find more of like a balance here. So I had membership and then I was doing class packs for a while because I felt like I wasn't going consistently enough to have a membership. And now with my friend Brooke, we were like, okay, we can go at least eight times a month so we did that membership but I actually feel like we're almost going like 12 times a month because we've been going like Monday Wednesday Friday so then maybe I need to up to like the unlimited one again I don't know but all I know is I feel really good when I leave there I feel really strong like my arms are so sore like I will be like shoulder pressing like 25s and like I would never do that otherwise so it feels really good and everything like that but I need to just be good with like my recovery and like a yoga mixed in there like a spin to kind of mix it up because I feel like when I do too much of one thing that's when I'm like getting injured and I don't know so I'm just trying to be like mindful this year keep my variety because I used to feel like I could only do like one type of workout to get good at it does anyone else like struggle with these thoughts like I do like I would be like okay like you guys know I was in such a soul cycle phase for the longest time and I would like only do that and I was so good at it but then I'm like wait but I like yoga I like Pilates I like running I like strength training like orange tree, whatever it is and so there's always like a constant battle in my head of like do I want to do like one type of workout and get really good at it or like if it was up to me I would do like a different workout like every single day because I like moving my body in different ways but then is that like beneficial and then am I ever gonna like get good at one thing you know I don't know what the right answer is maybe like some kind of consistency and routine also like some kind of variety as well I don't know I guess I overthink it and just any type of movement each day or consistently even if it's a different type of movement is good my hamstrings are literally killing me is <laughs> all I know also in my yoga class this week she was saying how your hip flexors can literally like shorten by like sitting all the time or whatever and I think that's happened to me I never had hip pain or tightness or anything like that and let me tell you 25 isn't what it used to be <laughs> I'm totally kidding but 
um in the past like also i have really bad balance in the past year or so like through my hip flexors i'm like ow and i think biking and running like really tighten them up so i'm always going like this trying to like stretch them out but i feel like searing pain <laughs> through, not pain just like a really deep stretch like i feel like what she said in yoga that the hip flexors can shrink has happened to me anyway i've been chatting forever i just thought oh, we could have this chat while you hold me accountable and get me to stretch what stretches have i not done i don't know i can't multitask so i don't even know what i just stretched and what i didn't <laughs> I'm gonna end this off here. This vlog is probably getting so long now. If you learned one thing from this, help me with my worries of my workout routine and like what is the best thing for me. And then I'm like, oh, people say strength training is like the best thing for you. I feel like that's all the rage right now, but also like low impact, like Pilates, all of that. And I feel really good after bar. I feel really good after orange theory. I feel good after yoga, after running, like just different feelings, you know? So then like, the best thing for me do i need to get like a trainer who like has me do weights more because i really like feeling strong i don't know i just always feel conflicted with the whole workout thing and i also does anyone else struggle with me like, struggle with this this is what i will leave you with because i feel like it consumes my thoughts honestly a lot of the time like i just want to be doing what's right i feel like my mindset has always been that way like there's one right right way to do things which is obviously not the case but in my mind i'm like there's one right way to like eat healthy for me and for my lifestyle and like for me to feel good and longevity and all those things and feel like a health and wellness queen and then there's one right way that i should be moving my body every day and i should be sticking to that i feel like that's so like what like business school and in my mind like you have to find the right way and the solution and the answer and like but like that's not actually it and so i always say to max i'm like i feel like maybe some of you relate to this like i feel like i've consistently moved my body for my whole life like i always did sports and i was an athlete in college and then so into workout classes and whatever like i feel like my body is just used to working out and no matter what workout i do i'm moving my body and that's great but like i never physically see any changes or i almost don't feel that different like right after i do but like i don't know i just feel like my body's so used to working out that like nothing really does much i don't know if anyone knows what i'm talking about so i'm like what's like the best thing for me anyway if i want to see a difference in strength or like feel a difference i guess like weightlifting because that's probably what i've done like the least of i don't know that's what people tell me but i don't know enough about it it scares me to like do it alone if anyone wants to strength train me <laughs> that's what this discussion has gotten to anyone wants to train me with weights let me know sydney adams i love you and i wish you were my next door neighbor because i would be like can you like teach me to lift weights every day <sighs> Okay, I'm gonna let you go. Love you guys. This has just been my thoughts recently. Try the pistachio cream cold brew, okay? I need to pack for New York right now. I can't believe we leave tomorrow. Plan on my outfits. I'm so excited. And yeah, you guys will see everything in that vlog. I can't believe we're going. Oh my gosh, I need to get my life together. Okay, this is so long. I love you. Thanks for watching this vlog. See you in my next one.